Welcome to the world of Spanglish Gaming. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Spanglish Gaming. Uh, this is episode 2 of programming, and in this episode I will show you variables. So first of all, what is a variable? Basically, it's a it's an assigned place in your RAM for where a bit of code can be stored and there are two types of these There's the categories uh, how am I going to explain this so there, there are two types of I God, I can't remember the word uh, I think it's called identifiers yeah yeah two types of identifiers variables and constants uh, variables and constants are exactly the same in every way except for one thing and that is that variables can be altered once the program is started running constants always stay the same as you input them so obviously variables are slightly more flexible and are used a lot more than constants are usually a constant would be used to like if you're running a program and say you had to um, you had to consider VAT. VAT is always going to stay the same unless it's changed. Uh, sort of. It's so it's always going to be the same at one time. At a different time, it might be different. So if you've got a load of procedures with VAT, instead of changing all of them, you can just change the constant, and then that'll change all of them. But don't worry about that too much yet. We'll get to that eventually variables we'll start off with there are different types of variables the main ones we're going to be using to start off with will be chars characters and integers we're going to go over an, a character for start for first of all so first thing you need to do is before your program begins you need to i you need to sort of uh declare your variables so you do is a var, it stands for variables. You have to name it. I'm a cool mine uh cuddle muffin and it is equal to um it, well, that doesn't mean it's equal to, it kinda means it is which I know yeah is equal to but it's just colon for some reason and then character char and then you end the line semicolon then you can begin your program so first of all one second is it run? Um, first of all you obviously start out with a right line it, by the way, um, I just press tab. It doesn't matter that it doesn't matter if you do or do not indent it. Indenting is means like uh, begin is on this layer, and then the code is on this layer, and then the end is on this layer. It's just different layers of code. Uh, it's kind of a presentation thing. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but if you do a computing course, they will stress the shit out of that that you're supposed to do that but it doesn't matter too much so um... you write a line what is your fav favorite letter and then what we do is as before we put read line in uh, the last program we made, the Hello World, in this one, because we actually want to read something, we can just put the name of the variable in the brackets. So, read line, cuddle muffin. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to end this line. That's embarrassing. Read line, cuddle muffin. End the line and then we can write line again just in case 
they didn't know what their favourite letter was, they might have forgotten by the time that they pressed enter, they might have thought, oh damn, I don't know what I put. So we're going to tell them. Uh, just in case you are stupid. This is your favorite letter. And then we can end the caption, put a comma, then the name of the variable. Cuddle muffin. Then another comma. Uh, yeah. And then we can end the right line. Well, actually, I am going to put a full stop, so we need to start a new, new, um, new quote for that one full stop. And it kind of looks like this weird face sort of thing. And then we can end the brackets and end the line. I have done something stupid and I have put a right there. Right line is what I should have. Get down to the next line. Read line. And put a blank. And then we can end the program there. I'll just run it to make sure it works. It should work. Uh, okay, I see. If, by the way, um, if you ever get this error at the bottom, resource file, icon file cannot be found, please change it in the options menu, uh, project menu even. Just go to project, project options, load icon, and then you have to find it here. It's called main icon. Open it. Okay. It should compile now with a bit of luck. Oh, I have to just uh, name it something. So I've got this. I'm title 3. I'm very organized in my programs. And here we go. What is your favorite letter? P. Just in case you are stupid, this is your favorite letter. P. And done. That's simple. It's extremely easy to do. And once you've started doing this sort of thing, once you've mastered the variables, it's very easy to just keep going on with it. So, I'll leave it there. We'll do some integers next time, I guess. And we'll just have some fun with that. Anyway, I've been a Viking. Happy pillaging and all that shares. Shaz, <laughs> shaz, what does that mean? Shiz, jazz, shaz, and as always, Vikings out.